Hello everybody, welcome back into more RDR2. We've got a couple of things going on here. Strauss wants to see us again. And we have a home robbery mission that I believe is with Sean. Yeah, there he is. There's Shawnee boy. Okay. Let's talk to Strauss first, because likely this is going to be what? Him giving us more debts to collect? Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't I'm the one sure. handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, okay. an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> I do not like his laugh. All right. Shawnee boy. You want to go rob a home? Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? <laughs> My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He <laughs> tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. Sounds right. good. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Spending you time with Sean. Cool, you hear me? I like Sean. Sean's comedic relief. He's also a fellow ginger. I think that's probably why All I like right. Molly so Let's much too. This. You lead the way. I have no idea where we're going. I don't know what I just knocked over, but it wasn't me. Sean, why'd you knock that over? Not taking ownership. Easy. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. Morgan. Did one of us hit an animal? So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a lot of nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. <laughs> I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. Oh. He kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Interesting. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggest you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. What else, Sean? You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? 
Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked down in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. Respect. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Mm. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Very true. How far is it now? Not too much for it. Better be worth it. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. You lead the way. Up here, Morgan. I'm gonna withhold judgment on something with the way conversations are going. It has to do with Arthur and his faith. And I guess I'll say his faith too. Basically everyone's faith in Dutch. Don't want them to hear us coming. I find it interesting that the two characters them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Sounds good, good plan. I find it interesting that the two characters who have known Dutch the longest are the ones who are questioning him, which that makes sense. They've been through enough to kind of see him change over time, but I think that says something when your oldest friend and basically your son are kind of like, are you okay in the head, old man? Are, are you sure you're still like seeing the vision? Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Huh? I will creep forward. Oh, I need to clean these again. Especially this one. But this will do for now. Move quicker, Sean. I want to shoot him. Hey there! I didn't think there would be a person right there. I want to give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. Now a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. It's oh! Over. Here, okay, Sean! Them. Where are they at? They're coming out! Oh! We just out of the woods, okay. Any more in the woods? We got more coming out of the woods. I guess that answers my question. Oh, I can't see that. Come out with your hands up! Nice and easy! You saw what we did to your pals here! Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. Okay. Right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine. All here. in the bedroom. You know what? Just, just get the hell out of here. And don't hand behind back. gap. Okay. Wall in bedroom. I'm gonna take these first. Ooh, are those cigarettes? So, nah, it's just money. Here we are. Money's still good. We got some good stuff. Okay. And between gaps, all right. I guess that's what he meant. All right. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right. Here, but don't forget to give the camp its share. 
Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what, folk. I'm stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. You're right about that, Sean. I always gotta check places. Oh, by the way, um, I was told about the comment of missing something. What did I just drop? Is that my gun? Why did my gun randomly drop? About missing something in a... Oh, that's why it dropped. No, give me this one. Shiny. <laughs> what was I saying again? Oh, yeah, missing the stash in the house that we robbed the stagecoach with Hosea. I went back and I got it. Out of the chimney. Went back, did that. Uh, took the coat off because I did not need it, even though I'm not getting rid of it because I like it and I don't care what anyone else says. And I guess I have to leave the hat on more often because it triggers people when it's off. I'm probably going to forget that last rule, so... Do with that what you want. <laughs> the hat goes wherever the hat goes. Ah, uh, we don't need to pick up the stranger. But I do want to loot this guy. Nope. Oh, oh Ar Arthur? Arthur, are we okay? You good? Oh, I don't want to swap hats. No. Okay then, girl. Okay. Ooh. What's this? Girl. Yeah. I was gonna say, let's find a mission. But I want to see what this is. Where is a stranger? What's this? Oh, found a stranger. Excuse? Hello? Uh, what the devil I... are you looking at? I d you? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. He's British, who of course. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come wild to America, animals. They said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America <laughs> to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. <laughs> I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. All right. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. <laughs> it's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent uh. lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make All it right. worth a while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. <laughs> Okay, Margaret, Margaret, um... Mistress of fucking danger. Mistress of danger. <laughs> Alright, Margaret, Mistress of danger. We will go and get your zebra? Yep. Oh, and we have mail. I took some time to myself and did a little bit more scouting just around the map, just places away from the road. Found a couple more dinosaur bones. Nowhere near my goal of 30. But I did find more rock carvings. So that's a good thing. Because I do want to help Sinclair. I want more story to that. 
And I guess I do also want to know what's up with the dinosaur bones. Didn't the lady say that it was a... What did she word it? An amphibious... Something. She... Something very weird is what she said. Something didn't make a whole lot of sense. But I've already forgotten it, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, and I also uh, finished a item request off camera. Ended up talking to Tilly, just playing dominoes. Just wanted to play dominoes. And apparently she had lost her necklace in the move, so I just gave her one that we had in the inventory. All right, zebra. This is not your natural habitat, so I don't know if your natural camouflage may or may not help you here. Is that a zebra or a horse? Is that a donkey? <laughs> it's a donkey that's been painted. Ridiculous, but what did I expect? Lucky. Whoa there. Easy. Uh, what they done to you? Oh, poor baby. Easy. Easy there. Alright, I might have to calm him off hammer. Oh, stop focusing on hammer. Easy, easy. Whoa, easy. Let's put the gun down. Maybe that's scaring him. Whoa. Take it easy there. Easy. Oh. Can I... Easy there. Easy there. Whoa. Easy, easy. Easy. It's okay. Am I just supposed to rope it? There we go. Come on now. Oh, I might have to. Okay. No, come on. No. Stop being stubborn. Whoa. I say to the donkey. No, come on. Hammer, where are you? Come on. Let's get you home. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Yep. Stop being difficult. I have to get you back to Margaret. does not want to go. That's okay. You do not have a choice. Yep. Keep on going. Going home whether you like it or not. Alright. If this is... Whoop. Oh, really? You know what? I'm just going to ride the donkey back if possible. Jobs better not rub off on my pants. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. If that happens, we'll buy you new pants. Ridiculous. Riding the zebra. I should take this through a town. Just see if anyone says anything. Sir, do you like my zebra? He's definitely staring. It's just a donkey, idiot. <laughs> Show the donkey to more people! No, I can't let this chance pass me by. Am I stealing this zebra? Maybe. Where where do we go? Where is we can go to the stables. I don't Oh, we can go to Emerald Ranch. We show off the donkey and then we go back to the owner. Margaret can wait. How did they crash the caravan anyway? 
It's like flat land. How did you manage to turn over a caravan? You know what? They deserved it. Now I'm gonna do this for my own amusement. Please, someone. I'll get this dog to kick you. Zebra has calmed and will now follow you. It better have calmed. Oh, I need some locals. No. I need more people to acknowledge. Hello. <laughs> You're looking that to ain't help. Turn, partner. My lord. I see mushrooms with bigger brains. You're real <laughs> shit talking. Okay, there's a train station right up here. This will be the last thing I do, and then I will go back to Margaret. Oh, why are there not people here? In oh, wait, wait, wait. Boy, uh, am I glad I'm not this funny to you? Oh, hell, shake it off. oh, is that just the response you get if you ride a donkey anyway? The first guy acknowledged that it was a zebra. I can get my mail while we're here. Be with you momentarily. I don't think I have any bounties. Can I help you? No. A rock statue. I'll take it. I don't know what the statue is of, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh man. Could I ride hammer now? Yes. Would it be as entertaining? No. <laughs> okay, this is the zebra. What is the lion and the tiger? I must know. Hey, you guys want to see my zebra? <laughs> okay. Speaking of donkeys, I also robbed an old lady while I was exploring yeah. who had a donkey and four sons who were like part of an outlaw gang, the Watson family or something. Anyway, stole from her. I actually, it kind of messed up. I stole from her and then the controller died and it took me to like a save screen. And then when I came back, it started me outside her house like I had already robbed her and her sons were there. So I tied the entire family up and then I robbed them again. Yeah. It was a good time. I wasn't recording it because I was just supposed to be exploring, but it was a good time. I got money out of it. I don't think I found anything else new that was actually interesting though. I think there was just that. <laughs> Margaret, I found the zebra. Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Gotta love theater that kids. That's the greater conjuring trick. Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka. Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. <laughs> well, as long as, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. All My right. assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right. I'll see what I can do. Your assistant took a lion to catch a tiger. 
Margaret, the math on, is a mathing on that one. But you know what? I will go and find your assistant. And we will go and get this tiger and this lion, whatever animals they may actually be. Now that you've started Oh helping, it would be a terrible shame not to continue. You know what, as long as you pay me, you don't have to do much convincing, okay? The money is the convincing factor. Alright, we are coming up on the assistant. Where is the assistant to the great Mar Marjorie Margaret? Stripey. Oh. Stripey? Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a I right bet. old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, oh. I could never tell. Of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his trap. <laughs> okay. Zebra's a donkey, the lion is a dog. I got it. What is a tiger? We got the trail! Ooh, something died. I think the lion or the tiger you caught something. There's some pigment here. Looks like like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Oh, I see something. Oh, oh no! Dog. The dog! I found your dog! X dog, X lion. Hey, boy! Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar <laughs> took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. <laughs> what else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well. Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. How did you guys get your hands on a cougar? The other half? And then really? paint it. I'm, gonna I'm put assuming in you painted wagon. it. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. You got a dog, a donkey, and a cougar. <clears throat> Rubs up. It's a great Stay mashup. Down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. Oh, that's not how that works. It's a good paint job. I'm wondering how you did it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Arthur, move quickly and quietly. Please do not jump back. Sorry, girl. All right. Let's go. Oh. We got her. Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. 
I would have thought, since they was close and all. No. Uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. <laughs> Is that right? No, not really. Get out of the way. Hey, um, I have a cougar. I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How do you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret. We got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. I'm he's sure. Card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. Depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. I haven't answered my question on how you got the cougar, but you know what? We I will just accept it. Here. When the dust was up, be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. I was gonna say, how the hell did you guys manage to turn over the caravan again? But then I went and drove us into the trees, and I was like, okay, I am, if you're going fast enough and you don't see the road. But also, this is relatively flat area. Mr. Margaret! Mr. Margaret! Hi, Miss... Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. <laughs> but playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. <laughs> I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not royal command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow <laughs> in roads is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you well, know, then that's word. we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. I agree, Arthur. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. <laughs> All right, we need to go straight off in that direction, I believe. Come here, Hammer. We got another lion to track down? It's okay, girl. Just oh. a scratch. Okay, now she's eaten. Oh, no. Ah. Hammer, do you not want food? There you go. Yeah. I will bet money to myself that this might actually be a lion and not some other random animal that they've dressed up. Because this is gonna be their second lion. And three turned out to be fakes. So, process of elimination. We will see if this is not a real wild animal, a real lion. I need... Oh, that's not it. What did I do? Hmm. 
There we go. Not now, horsey. Okay. Looking for a lion. Can't be that hard to find. Hold it tight. I got a trap in here. Oh. I should go and get my repeater. I think we found it. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked mm. like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you excuse me. I wouldn't be so sure, Arthur. Step aside. What? I said step aside. I don't want to go in the barn. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. All right, this is a tiny area. Come here, boy. Let's go. Oh, 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 Arthur, that's not a dog sound. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. This is not my fault. Uh Okay. Cow. Right, I'll take care of this. Oh, I think I see. Maybe? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Oh, yep, crashed through the fence and went this way. Oh yeah, the okay, dead horse. Massive chunk out of the neck. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Sweet mother of... Big kitty. Easy, boy. Easy. Shit! Oh, big angry kitty! No! Oh, sorry, Arthur. That was a very precise hit from that lion. Did the lion just slit Arthur's throat? Like, no other damage, just one claw to the throat. Alright. Terrifying lion, very precise animal. I'm sorry, kitty. Take trophy. The pelt? Woo, he got it! Oh, shot the, thing. the hand. Oh, kitty. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Uh, I wouldn't know nothing about that. Come on, you're holding me up. Arthur Morgan is many things. A snitch the snitch is not one of them. Yep. Now we have to go back to Margaret and tell him about the poor lion. That was a very terrifying lion though. That kill on Arthur was literally no other damage, but a clean slice to the throat. Terrifying. Margaret, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Oh, geez, yes, for turns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Margaret, right away. A man-eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I know. A knew. goose will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. 
What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell. <laughs> this is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. All right. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and it's as fake, dear isn't it? as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! No. I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy <laughs> ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the live? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. Oh, damn so theater long, majors, man. Next Bye, Sally. I'll be talking the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Oh, okay, the item reads emerald. Might be a real emerald. All right, Margaret, Sally. Pleasure doing business with you. And your assassin lion. Okay, we want to... Grace, ooh. We got Dutch, um, that is Strauss's debt. Okay, let's go check. Oh, what am I doing? I didn't put it on the map. I want to go and see what's up with the Gray family. And hope we can actually get into Caliga Hall now that we are friends with the sheriff. Because last time I was there, I got shot at. Granted, I snuck my way onto the property and took their cigarette cards. But did that warrant being shot at? I think the answer is no. All right, we are coming up on Caliga Hall. Let's take back control. Uh, we have a certain way we need to enter the property. That way we do not get yelled at, shot at, killed. Because I would like to check for more cigarette cards if you don't mind, gentlemen. What do you want, boy? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right, have a word, but I ain't got the time to help you. I didn't Lodge. ask for your help. Okay, ask around Calico Hall to find out more about the Greys. Can I ask you? Excuse me. Oh, nope, oh, maybe not. Oh, I can. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay, Master Bo. Uh, that was a very interesting lie you came up with, Arthur. You don't really look like the studious type, but then again, I am profiling. Oh. Why did the map do that? Oh, are you my... You might be my person. I'm going to take a look around your home, and then I will be right back to speak with you. Pay me no mind, pretend like I was never here. I'm going to check all of these buildings for possible cigarette carts. There's also other collectibles that I apparently have not found. Hello, mister. Sir. Alright, they are not violent with me, which is great. Apparently there are other collectibles in the map that I have no idea where they are. Ooh. Take... Hope you don't mind. You can have the cigarettes. I just want the card. I will gladly give the cigarettes back. Alright, I'm going to check every other building. Well, that's convenient. Around this property, including the barn that I was already at, just in case I missed something in my haze of trying to get away from the gunshots. And then I will go and start this mission. But this is this is my personal mission right now. This is Arthur's goal in life, is to have a full set of every type of cigarette card. And I have to let Arthur meet his goals. Ooh. 
No? Okay. No, Arthur, we cannot get into random people's homes. Um, okay. These buildings we've already checked. What's this one? Good hammer, I don't like walking. That's a no. This is the barn I was in before. Let's see what else they got around here. Ooh. Gotta get rid of some stuff. Is this that I need? Arthur, satchel. There we go. This is ours now, as is this. Okay, shells. Pomade. Anything over here? Excuse me, ma'am. I don't mean to get in the way of your work. Just a passerby. Working with the sheriff on some important business. Ooh, a hammock. Arthur, we should take a break and lie in the hammock. <laughs> the way they both stopped and stared. Pay me no mind. I'm just going to be taking this. I'm so kind of surprised there's never anyone who says anything to you when you take their cigarette card. Like, hey, that's mine. Put it down. I smoked 300 cigarettes to get that. It's a limited edition. You can't have it. I know I called you. Hammer, but I figured I'd just walk over here. After I literally just said I hate walking. But Arthur likes to contradict himself. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Yes, we did. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? <laughs> what are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Okay. Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't what? wanna kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh, mm, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. Kid, you ever read Lee Romeo Gray and Juliet? Been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond <laughs> blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's... Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. Mm -hmm. I'll pay. I've got oh, money. That's we the magic raise. word. We've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Playing messenger to a lovesick lad. Okay. Oh, look out you seem dogs. like a very well-read fellow. Oh, then I do need to be careful because I've already been shot at once. So long and good luck. Yeah. You seem like a. I'm thinking oh. when this is done, you can fill me in on the goings-on around here. 
Oh, yes, sir. Assuredly. All right, then. Well, it's just, uh... <laughs> I'm the curious kind. Very scholarly. Speaking of scholarly, brush up on your Shakespeare, my friend. Okay, Spoiler alert, girl. Romeo and Juliet did not end well. Ah, classic. Two warring families and dumb kids. Also, he just needs some friends, man, because, uh... I don't think you just tell any random outlaw your entire life story, including the fact that you wouldn't mind if he killed your family and his girlfriend's family. I don't know, that bit was a little bit concerning. Yeah. But we shall help, kid. Arthur himself knows a little bit about tough love. All right, let me look at the map and get a scope of... Ooh, I do not have this area well discovered. All right, there's water along here, so the edge is somewhere right around there. If I don't want to get seen... Okay, let's start out on the edge and make our way in because I don't want to get shot at by guards anymore. Arthur goes through enough, okay? Yeah, I can already tell I found the right place based on that tree, that tree line right there. Alright, we want to stick to the edge. Yep. Classic old southern driveway right there. I might want to get out of their cotton field. Try not to hit anything with hammer. All right, I need to be... that direction, okay. Edge of the property, but which edge? Head towards the main house. It said gazebo, right? Oh, 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 okay. Sneak past guards. Okay. I just need to enter the property, apparently. Oh, I see the gazebo already. Well, this is easy. And the mist is rolling in. Look at Mother Nature being helpful. Arthur, we're still in the south. Please do not get bitten by a gator. He had to kill an alligator. Not sure whether I'm proud of that or I feel like I'm missing out. Right. Maybe I should just swim there as opposed to trying to... Can I see the guards on the map? That's a new question. Ooh, I can. Okay. Um... Who else is on the map? Ooh, okay. I was wondering if I should go around here, but that puts me in the eyesight of this guy. So I might want to stick to the water. Yep, Arthur, we're gonna get some swimming time in. Yep, just throw it in the water, pollute. It's okay, we're about 50 years before people actually start caring about that. Not even that, way longer. Don't worry, Arthur, the thing you just did will not have an impact for like another hundred years that people will actually notice. Okay, that is my gazebo, I do believe. Uh, I would like to go in that building and look for a cigarette card, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, let me put Arthur in the boat while he regains some stamina. This is a nice boat. Okay. 
Miss Braithwaite. I have swam near and far to make it here. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Oh, that have you would ever be been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, <laughs> neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. <laughs> Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Yes, well, we do. They tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I guess. I love how trusting these kids are. Ooh, leave without being seen. Uh, can I take the boat? Can I commandeer myself a seaworthy vessel? I love how gullible these kids are. Ma'am, I am a strange man who snuck my way onto your property. You're heavily guarded property, and you're just gonna tell me your life story. They have no idea that we're planning to rob both of them blind. It's kind of sad. Was this missed a timed event? Because honestly, perfect. Where am I going, by the way? Ooh. You know, while I have this boat, I should check out these little areas. Oh, yeah, because camp is right here. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go island hopping and then make our way back to camp. Just got to get out of this area really quick. Slowly but surely. Looks like we're just... Rowing off into the abyss. Oh, Bo's back. Oh, yeah, because we have to take... Oh, there's a new mission, too. Who else needs to see us? Oh, Molly! Interesting. All right. I want to explore these islands, and then I'll go back and do another mission with Bo, because I would like to keep mission uh, missions together. Let me get out of this boat. At some point, I do have to loop my way back around Strawberry and not only pick up Strauss's debt. Ooh. Well, someone was here. Arthur, is that you breathing? We have to pick up Strauss's... Ooh, cat eye trinket. Interesting. Is it haunted? Pick up Strauss's dad and go see Micah because I have been ignoring that man for a long time. Will I apologize for it? No. I want to study the seagull. It's, oh, laughing gull. Alright, cute little island. We found a trinket. There are ducks. More turkey. Alright, how do I push this boat back? 
Okay, the game kind of moves the boat for you. Good to know. Alright, Arthur. Row. This would be a good place to go fishing, too. I've been trying to decide whether or not those legendary fishing spots are worth it to me. Because I would like to do as much as possible in this game. But I do not like fishing that much, whether it's in real life or in the virtual world. That's actually not true. There are some video game fishing mechanics that I enjoyed. I definitely fished a lot in um, one of the Final Fantasy games. Whichever one had Noctis in it, I did fish a little bit in that one. I just do not find it relaxing. I understand why people do, though. But I just... If I sit still for too long and literally do nothing but that, thoughts just eat away at you. I cannot. Alright, is that... Okay, that's the light of the Braithwaite house, right? Yeah. Ooh. We have a new type of berry. Oh, it's raspberries! Get more raspberries! Ooh, mint! Take all of this, make us a mint tea. Oh, there's stuff all over here. Is this still mint? Ah, it's, um, burdock root. What are you? Ah, it's a rodent. What kind of rodent? A muskrat! Sorry, Arthur. Um, common bulrush, okay. Are you going for a swim, little rodent? Oh, he's gone. Okay. I did not expect that rat to be a very good swimmer, but he's gone. All right, next island. in this game are so pretty. A couple of times while I was exploring, it started me off in just such beautiful scenery. I took so many screenshots. I think there's a photo mode as well. I just haven't used it. Okay, let's park ourselves around the middle in this bend here. Uh, so, no matter which direction we go, it's not that much of a hassle to get back to the boat. Ooh, okay, see a couple of things. Okay, let's go see if we can find anything new and interesting. Okay, that's bull rush. We don't need that. Raspberries again? Yeah, pick up the raspberries. Get more raspberries. I see, is that another muskrat? It's something. Oh, 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 Arthur, Arthur. Oh, it's a turkey. It's a frog. What kind of frog? 
No, Arthur, focus on the frog. Oh, it's a western toad. Can I pick up the toad? Can I... Can I get frog legs? <laughs> oh, okay. Frog legs are really good. We're gonna make some for Arthur. Oh, okay, just stick the whole frog in the pouch. That's fine, too. Is this another turkey? Ooh, is that a beaver? Oh no, it's a snapping turtle! Right? Yeah, oh yeah, this is a snapping turtle. What happens if I... I thought I already discovered this. Maybe not. What happens if I... Uh. I'm sure there's something we can make out of snapping turtle. Exactly, did you cut out? Okay, what else is around here for Arthur? What is this? Oh, it's just a muskrat. Okay. Don't know why it looks so weird. Oh, it's a ship. Let's go see what's over there. So cute. Um, is that an iguana? Why is there an iguana? Oh, look at the iguana go! Oh, there's another. No, okay, that was tracks. That's tracks. Wait, what's this? Goodbye, little buddy. Oh, I see a silver fox. No, I'm not hunting the fox. I'm kind of shocked there are iguanas here. I love iguanas. So many of my friends from South Florida hate them because they are kind of a pest and there's just so many of them. But I think they're awesome. There's this one story I heard from someone that um, in South Florida, a lot of people can you eat iguanas. So when it gets really cold, the iguanas, of course, freeze over. They kind of go into a hibernation stage. They're still alive, but they're just like frozen solid and they don't move. Someone went around collecting iguanas. I don't know if the purpose was to eat them or what it was, but collected a bunch of frozen iguanas. Ooh. And while they were going around doing this, the iguanas defrosted in this person's car, attacked them, and caused them to have a wreck. Which I should not think it's funny as I do, but I think it's pretty funny. Oh, is that it? I got aged pirate rum, so it's a pirate ship? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought I saw something. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ooh, I did see something. What is this? <gasps> it's a pirate hat <laughs> oh my god it's a look at it it's a genuine pirate hat 
Oh, looking snazzy, Arthur. We are not taking this out off. Absolutely not. This is our hat now. <laughs> we are the captain now. <laughs> oh my god, I have to get back to camp. I have to show people my hat. You know what? Should I should I kill an iguana just to, just to do it? No, come here. Come here. Don't go in the water. Iguanas are fast swimmers. Uh, apparently not this one. Oh, Arthur, 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 Arthur. Okay. Arthur said the iguana should not be killed because uh, he wouldn't let me do it. Got a little too excitable there because of my new pirate hat. Is a rabbit? Yeah, it's a jackrabbit. How'd you swim all the way over here? <gasps> Is that a crab? It's a crab. No, no. Arthur, Arthur, get the crab. Yes. <laughs> Ah! We can make crab legs! Poor crab carcass. How do you do any better? You gotta hit the crab with a bow and arrow? No, you can stab the crab. You hunt the old-fashioned way. Arthur has crabs now. We have to go show everyone that. And our pirate hat. Camp is, like, right there, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, there's one more island. There's a couple of islands. But you know what? I, I want to go to camp. I want to show everyone my new outfit. This looks so ridiculous. I'm going to at least use... Will it show up in the cutscenes? I want it to show up in the cutscenes. I'm going to at least use it for uh, a little bit. And then I'll switch back to the actual hat. But this is my hat now. I have decided. Once again, another odd tale in the story of Arthur Morgan. Everyone, look at my hat. Look how magnificent I am. I also found pirate rum if anyone wants that. Oh, let's feed Arthur. Oh, everyone's going to sleep. They don't get to see my hat. What on earth are you dressed as? How dare you? I am the captain. Pearson, you are in the Navy. You should understand. Disgusting behavior from a Navy man. Hey, get up. <laughs> I'm sleeping, Arthur. I've forgotten what it was now. <laughs> Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Yes, I needed that. Dad, look at my hat. After everything. Yep. Fine, I'll go show my hat over here. Oh, wait, I think that's just Javier on parole. Parole. <laughs> Patrol. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. <laughs> they better be. I like how they made him look like Ebenezer Scrooge. Was that purposeful? Because he definitely has the Ebenezer look. All right, we want to take nap. Uh, let's sleep until noon. Give our boy some time to nap. And then we will go back and see Bo. I know Molly's right here and she has a mission for us. But I would like to keep Bo's missions together. And like I said, at some point I gotta make my way back to Strawberry. But I assume the game is not gonna let us continue forward without seeing Micah at some point. Ooh, wait a minute, there's something else on the map now. Oh, we can go fishing with Karen! Let's do it. Okay, first shave. I've been noticing Arthur's getting a little bit scraggly. There you go, buddy. Good as new. Oh, Driscoll! 
Are you okay? <coughs> Osea? The thing is, John, the thing is, we all gotta die. I know that. I, of all people, know that. No. Excuse me? We all gotta die, but you got the chance to live. Not just to live, to live for love. I got no goddamn clue what you're on about, Hosea. You're not as dumb as you act, John Marston. I don't Hosea, understand. this better not be one of those end of your life be conversations. Ahead, it would suit you. Oh, Driscoll, you want to go fishing? Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como, Driscoll. Of course Arthur. Not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. I think you made him pee his oh, pants. Oh, shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? Yes. I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. Okay. I'm looking right, forward to hanging out with Kieran. And let's go. Lead the way, O'Driscoll. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. This horse has such an interesting color. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're <laughs> off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day I don't kill you. So oh, we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. <laughs> now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Oh, poor Kieran. Man's is terrified. He should be, given the way Bill treats him. I did see a little action, uh, not a little interaction between him and Mary Beth. They were the flirting place. a little bit. It's it was interesting. Bass, sure. She offered to teach him how to read. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. I'm going right here. So you have to go somewhere else. Don't you dare come near me. This is my spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Oh, Driscoll. With worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. I think I only have bread and cheese. I have corn. Oh. You took my spot, oh, Driscoll. I should uh, push you into the close, lake. Ain't it, Arthur? You're telling me that was my spot. All right, Kieran, entertain me. Why did what? No, focus on the fish, not on Kieran. You get many bites there, old Driscoll. I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellers a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Home <laughs> goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Oh. Let's go, fishy. There you go. Oh, this fish nice. is not fighting back. Good catch, Arthur. Okay, bluegill. I will throw back. You are small boy. Now see if you can hook enough. You grow strong. And then I will hook you again. Oh yeah. Uh quick more cheese. Okay, no, no. On me already? I haven't. I was trying to see if I could ask you any more questions. It's 
So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? <laughs> Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promise loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If oh. I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? <laughs> My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Oh. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. <laughs> you here for some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Oh. <laughs> well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah. All right. Maybe Later, we'll take sir. A look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Well, take care. <laughs> okay, hey, I understand why this is Kieran's favorite spot. Just part of his daily routine. I understand you a little bit more now, O'Driscoll. That was funny. Alright, new area. you I did not hit anything I, I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about all right well let's stop and go fishing oh did you see that amazing bluegill sure that got you real excited huh Come is on, it legendary let's down to the beach Oh, it is legendary. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Okay. So his other options were crickets and something else. I don't have any crickets. I have Who nothing but cheese. My pappy mostly. I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Also, be careful. I'm pretty sure I see a snake in the water. Water moccasins are no joke. Oh, I think it's coming back. Oh! I don't think this is it, but I'll take it. I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Oh no, it's a tiny one. No. I want the big guy. But it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. No, I don't think it is. Ah, throw it back. Why does my honor go up for just throwing the fish back? Okay. I need to go to a general store and just pick up more fishing supplies. I say as if I didn't literally just say like 10, 15 minutes ago that I hate fishing. <laughs> See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still True. a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. <laughs> Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. 
I wouldn't have expected, actually, you know what I was gonna say, I wouldn't have expected Sadie to also bully him alongside Bill, but the O'Driscolls did kill her husband. So that makes, that tracks, it makes sense. Is that a snake that I'm seeing just go back and forth? Has to be. Oh yeah, because I'm seeing another one that went right by Arthur's arm just then. Come on. You got it. That has got to be the Give one, me right? something. Oh, it's too uh, easy to pull in. Very big to me. Yeah, this is not it. Too easy. The small one again. No, that's not it. We don't want you. You insult me with your presence. Okay. Ah! Uh, I don't think switching to bread is going to help me. Does this count as a lake? Lake lures are excellent for catching large chance. fish. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah. Go on, I'll see you later. You do whatever it is that makes you happy. I'm going to continue at least trying to catch this fish. For the next couple of minutes. Okay. We've been at it for a little bit and caught nothing. I need to change up what I'm doing. Need to change up the bait. Let's go, girl. Okay. We still have all the same people on the map, it does look like. All right, Molly, you are going to be waiting on us a little while longer because I want to go back and see Bo. Also, I want to go and do more map exploration since we're going to be hanging around this area for a little bit longer. I mean, okay, guide Hammerhead through here. I do want to go a little bit further south and see what's um, below Braithwaite House. How much more of the map there is right below south of Braithwaite House. I'm out. Look at your panties in a twist. I'm gone. And also, there's a whole lot more area uh, just north of us that I would like to check out. But I'm probably going to wait on that one. This isn't my business. Sneaking about here. How are we not hitting him? Yeah, how are you not hitting him? Once again, not my business. Uh, very Hatfield and McCoy also. Great family business. Coming through. You're good. <laughs> of course I'm good. Look at my hat. I'm doing great. I want to get through a couple of cutscenes with this hat, then I'll take it off. Maybe. Ah, uh, there you are. I did as you asked. You got my money? <laughs> sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. Maybe. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take <laughs> it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. This hat. <laughs> My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. Oh. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't oh. want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. <laughs> but they're gonna... 
Um, you kill her Matilda. at one of those rallies there, Holden. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Bone rights are a no, but incest is a yes. Ah. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. This was the modern age. This boy would probably tell you a social we'll security go number. And take the road to town. He go into a long rant about his life and accidentally give you his banking information. Not that I would mind. But let's go help him, that way he doesn't have to marry Matilda. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! Oh. There they are! Oh, that's a massive dress. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Does that my business? Fight this mob. We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from. Certain elements, mostly my family. Penelope, <laughs> I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll oh. allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Okay. Cool. Miss Calhoun. Are there? We're joining the movement. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Can do, ma'am. <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign! <laughs> Joining history, Arthur. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it, all right. Arthur, I love you, but if you're gonna get one fake name in a town, you need to be consistent. Are you an old friend of the movement? I'm oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. I can tell what Main Street is. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Easy <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. This will pay off in 1920. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Come
ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. Matilda? What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Captain Morgan. That's what I'm gonna call Arthur as long as he's wearing this hat. Let's go, Captain Morgan. Let's go. Quick now. Are you following me? Would you like to fight? Oh Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Calhoun might be really upset with me if I killed him in the middle of her protest, but you know what? I will consider it. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousin's Please don't. My primary concern right now. Everyone knows about Penelope and me. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. True. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. Mm. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. Well, Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. All right. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying mm. to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. All right. Later, Bo. Stop telling everyone your personal business. Arthur looks a little different. I've been noticing in a couple of the cutscenes, I can't really explain what it is, but it's like his eyes are brighter in some weird way. I definitely noticed it when, uh, I want to look, take a look around. When everyone got attacked in Valentine, how do I get in here? Oh, that was not a chimney. That's a doorway. All right. I'm going to take a look around this area because... Is this a battlefield? I'm supposed to be looking for a treasure beside a cannon in a tree. So I guess I'll take a look around here. But when we got attacked by... Uh, not Cole Driscoll. Um... Cornwall's people, Arthur's eyes look bright blue, like bluer than normal, and I think it's because the white in his eyes is getting redder. I'm not sure if I'm not letting him sleep or what's going on there. 
Could be I'm not letting them sleep enough, because the man- Ooh. Is this a cigarette card? I think it is. Because I know his body weight will change based on how well you feed him. But I don't know anything about it, letting him sleep a certain amount of time. Will that help the eye situation or if that really even matters? Then again, he could just be really tired in those cutscenes. There's a snake somewhere. I need to try getting a perfect snake skin. I also want to go over there. Alright, but right now we are... Okay, let's check, Rabbit. Looking for a cannon. It's a tree, but there's no cannon. <gasps> it's a skunk! I want to study the skunk! Can I get sprayed? That would be funny. Uh, there's a cannon. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, inspect! You gonna draw me a picture? Let us see, we want to read. Went to Scarlet Meadows, a site of famous battle in the war, all them young lives lost. Okay, Scarlet Meadows. Ah, uh, that's a suspicious tree. Alright, but I don't see, well I mean there's cannons right there. I'm just gonna have to check most of these trees. But this one has a hollow in it. <gasps> oh, come on, give me, please. Please be correct. We have a new map. Where does this go? Um. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This might be the sundial that is over by the UFO sighting that I didn't know what it was for. Because there's a really weird sundial that's right next to the giant bones and the UFO sighting, and it wouldn't let me do anything with it as Arthur, so I thought it was just nothing important. But it is a sundial that looks past the mountains. Okay, so when the sun is rising... We go towards seven? Okay. Or maybe, maybe it's in seven. Alright, but I do know where a sundial is. Oh. It got dark all- Ooh, there's someone staying in there. It got dark all of a sudden. Ooh. We got guards. Okay. Um... Hammer, please bring me my fancy new rifle, courtesy of John. Hammer, where? Oh, there you are. Good, Orzy. Alright. Hammer, I need... This one, right? Yeah. I need this. And then, oh, let's do this. And then Wait you stay. Down. And I get up here. Get a good line of sight. Okay. Got 14 bullets. Gotta make this count. Okay, there's one. Was that a second person or was it the glare of the scope? It's absolutely more than one. Maybe I just have to draw them out. Oh! Oh, missed that one. Where'd you go? I have to wait for you to come over the hill. Oh, you came over the hill quick! Oh. Gonna get you, 
Okay. Well, that worked out. Let's go check out this area up here. Oh, careful, Arthur. Um, yes, check him. Ooh. Very pretty old church. Let's loot it. Oh, I can expect. Okay. Get your book out, Arthur. Old church. Found it interesting. Not sure why. This is pretty. Don't have to have any more of a reason than that. Okay, Captain Morgan, let's find ourselves. Ooh. Oh, I see two. I see two boxes. We got money. We got more money. And we got more money. What about what's over here? Jewelry. Money. And a pocket watch. Oh, there's another one. Large jewelry bag. Oh, is that it? All right, large jewelry bag. Where else can we go around here? Ah, uh, we can go up. I don't really see anything over here, though. Uh... Can we get to this platform? We can. There's a coin purse! Okay, there was a purpose for coming over here. And cigarettes! And a cigarette card! We've hit gold! Alright, uh... Oops. Sorry, Morgan. Um, I don't see anything right here, but let's cook for Arthur really quickly. Let's cook for our boy. What are effects? Ah. Oh, I need a grill to cook some of those things. All right. Makes sense. Okay, where exactly did Bo pull us out to? Let me see the map. Okay, so we're further south, which is where I wanted to be anyway. Um, I kind of want to loop under Braithwaite. Then there's also this. Okay, this, then we'll loop under the Braithwaites. And I'm sure at some point the north, um, eastern part of the map will become more important. So I could just wait on actually going through that area for a little bit. Though I, there is something I kind of need to figure out. If the stranger events, they're basically, they only show up if you're in proximity to them, don't they? They just yep. won't show up on the map. Unless it's someone that you've already had conversations with and you've started their missions, like the wildlife photographer, who's... You okay, mister? Please. A 
have been bitten by a snake. Haven't we already run into each other? I need medicine. Drink oh, this. Here, take this. It'll help. Is that medicine? Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out. I could have sworn we've run into yeah. him before. But, um, what was I gonna say? The wildlife photographer. He's not showing up on the map anymore. I don't know if I need to go back up that way towards Micah. Ooh. Ooh, give me a second because the music has changed. Okay, we got people. Got a lot of people. Ooh. All right, this must be important. I'll make a note to come back here because with that many guards there has to be something important going on there that the story is probably going to bring me back to. It might honestly be a house robbery situation which someone will tell me about. Okay. Let's see. From here we could loop around here to the edge of the break. Ah, uh, no. I don't want to go that way. I want to loop here. Go around the edge to the Braithway property and come down. And then just go back up. Alright. That's gonna be my exploration plan. I might just want to cut across. Yep. Uh, there's my road that I wanted, right? Okay. We will take- wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me make sure I understand where I'm going. Okay, now we definitely want to follow the road where it is. Take us the wide way around the area I wanted to check out. Yep. The music down south gets so creepy for some reason. Is that a person? Okay. No, that's a shrub. Okay. Interesting. Easy now. It's a boat in a tree. Right? Yes. Anything around here? Arthur, would you like to draw this? It's kind of weird. It's kind of strange. How'd the boat get up there? Arthur chooses not to question. You all right, girl? Oh, there's another boat. Skinnier boat. Yeah. See nothing to concern myself. Oh, dear. Okay, I was hearing extra movement, but I think it was just the deer in front of me. There we go. Oh, the, well, no, Arthur down. Arthur, 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 get. Arthur said, I'm not afraid of anything. This was not me, okay? There, there's a serial killer out here. This was not me. I had forgotten about you. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, there's the classic note inside uh, the severed head. Making a 
Point with you. Huh. Ew. All right. Okay, I see a lock combo. And... Uh, why did we have to read it right beside the severed head? No, I, d I don't want a close-up of that. Go over here. This guy's been making some progress, though. He basically... Oh, we pieced it together. Wait. He's been making some progress, though. He's basically killed three different people in three different states. Alright. Oh, it's a house with a cellar across a bridge and there's a lock combo. Okay. I have not seen, and it's a torn down house with a cellar. I have not seen any cellars except for the one that we bypassed um, close to where we crossed the border in order to go get Sean. There's a cellar house over there, but that's a actual, like, shack, cabin, home, whatever you want to call it. It's not a torn down house, so I don't think that's where I'm supposed to be. I might not have found this area yet. I have forgotten all about the friendly neighborhood serial killer. Was blissfully unaware. Alright, gotta go do that at some point, but let's go check out this house first. Easy. You're okay. <laughs> oh, is this a snake? Might have been a snake. Oh, I can just go in. Um... Oh, inspect floorboard. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, got a letter. I would. Oh no, it's a family photograph. Okay. A we got parents and a kid. Newspaper scrap. I would like to read. Uh, catch a newspaper scrap. $200 reward. Ran away, um, the night of August 17th. Calls himself Curtis. Uh, da -da -da, 27 years of age. 5 foot 9 inches in height. Well, give the reward of $200 for the apprehension and return. Uh, 1859. Let's take this. Hammer, is that you making weird noises outside? What type of... Ah, oh, it's ginseng. We will eat. Okay, we found a family photo. And we want to continue. Ooh, there's another house. We want to continue in this direction. Yep. Go away, turkey, so I would hate to run you over on accident. I've been known to do so. House occupied. Go around the side. See if we can't hear anybody. 
Hello, what are you? Ooh. Chest hidden beside the home. I will take. <laughs> More pirate rum. Good for Captain Morgan. I reckon you had enough, Pa. Enough? All I had enough of is you. We ain't had food in the keep for weeks. Oh, well, you ain't a babe in the crib no more. You full grown now, boy. Stop pulling in your pieces. You'd only gamble or piss it away if I did. You damn maggot. Uh, Who the hell you think oh. you're talking to? You need to learn some respect. This is why my left. Look what happened to you. Okay. Oh, we got two people in the home. Do we still want to rob the home? I think the answer is yes. Just do so gently. Nothing for y'all to be concerned with. Gotta play two roles in this damn house. You notice nothing. Will you fall asleep? <laughs> this is kind of sad, sir. Hi. Oh. Are you falling asleep? <laughs> Doing the is best I damn well can. No, wake enough to take the bottle. No peripheral vision. Who the hell are you? Hi. Come out of here. Get on out, you hear me? Whoa there, partner. Just take it easy. I think you should Get just calm down, sir. I think you should just now. calm down. There's no reason to get upset. Oh. Okay. I said get the hell out of here. It's okay. I'm just gonna take a look around Ooh, and then I'll leave. You are barging into my home. Ooh. I think I am Captain Morgan. Pa, are you there? Your paw's fine. Just incapacitated at this point, but not from the alcohol. Why the hell are you doing this? Because I can. Pa, Hello. Oh. Pa, are you all right? <laughs> no, please don't kill me. Take whatever you want. Just, just leave. Okay. Just hide under. I don't want to threaten. Poor kid's already terrified enough. I can look around on my own. Don't worry, die. kiddo. This will be over in just a minute. You know what? I feel bad about taking these uh, premium cigarettes, so I'll leave you the ones that I don't want. And then I'll take the fresh ones off your hands. Cigarette card and all. Take whatever you want. Just, just please don't hurt me. I'm not going to. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, I don't see... Ooh, candy. No, come on. My ma gave that card to me. It's a cigarette card. Go buy more cigarettes. Oh, leave me one of them at least. <laughs> I should feel really bad. You know what? I will. Oh, I don't want to cut him loose. I was going to bring his paw in there for him to keep him calm. Can I 
not check this? Oh, oh, Arthur. Hey kid, where do you keep the money? Tell me where you keep the money or I swear I'll kill you right there. The chimney. It's in the uh, chimney. Just please don't hurt me. That's where I thought it was. Why wouldn't it let me check? Why did my honor go down? It's not like he needed it. He would have just gambled it or something. Maybe he didn't even know it was there. I'm being helpful by taking away the resources he might have wasted. Let's see, search drawer. We'll make that honor up somewhere. It's not like we're hurting them. We haven't killed them. Ooh. I am going to read your personal letters, though. Note to Nate. I do not know how many letters I've written now, but I won't stop trying. Even the act of writing feels like some connection to you, which is sincerely better, which is certainly better to me than none. I can understand how hurt and angry you must be for walking out on you like I did, but I promise that I love you with all my heart. I just couldn't take it a day longer. I, you know your father's temper, especially when he was drinking, which was all the time at the end. I've found work and am renting a small house. Just give me the word and I will send for you. We can both start again. Oh, sir, dude. Does the boy not know that his mom was trying to contact him? Oh, I don't feel bad about robbing you anymore, sir. Can we... I think he escaped. You know what? I, I might want to get out of here, too. Who knows if you went to go get the law. Oh, wait, there's a little house. You take care now. Oh, I need to go. <laughs> I don't feel bad about robbing them anymore. Poor kid. Oh, I kind of wish I could have left the letter. Oh, there's more. That way, maybe he would have found it and knew that his mom was trying to contact him. Okay, I'm gonna go before that kid comes back with whoever he went after. Okay, then, girl. You just got robbed by a man in a pirate hat. Oh, there's something right there as well. How much trouble will we get if we go into Braithwaite territory? Idiot. Yeah, I kind of wish we could have left the note behind or told him. I also don't know where he went. I might want to switch out the pirate hat. It's kind of a strong identifier. Still very much private Braithwaite property. Ooh, grapes. Yep. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Okay, we want. Let's go collect this debt. We'll go collect the debt. Yeah. Talk to Dutch. And then that might end the episode for now. Then the next thing we can do will be talk to Molly and then make our way back towards Micah. Oh, I, I'm definitely cutting through their land this time. 
Okay, we are going to look around until someone tells us not to. Okay, that's no. Damn it. Come on. There went my plans. I'll come back at night and just be sneaky about it. We haven't given up hope just yet. I will find your cigarette cards. You can't hide them forever. You got this hammer? Yep. Let's get us an undertaker. Quite right. Stop <laughs> picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> that casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, okay. Well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And you stealing from the church? Hmm? All right. I guess oh, I'll follow. This ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, oh. but uh, this it, it ain't exactly right. What we're doing? Where are you going? You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Oh, don't tell me we're going grave robbing. Sir, okay. I have morals. You head on in the church, no. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. Yeah. Digging up Mrs. Claypole. <laughs> Jesus. Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Valid. Dead people don't need jewels. Oh, man. Oh, damn it. There's what? a bunch of people here. <sighs> oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. Oh, so I have to do we the don't work. Hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy, ain't no one around. Just my auntie? Your auntie's long uh, past prudishness. It's <laughs> disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, <gasps> breathing <gasps> woman you In got the here graveyard? In front of you. Get some Get out class. Of here, kids, move! Come on, I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! <laughs> the graveyard of all places. The dead people don't need to see that. You know, you're just a nice old lady trying to clean a grave. Overgrown and all. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Yep. That's what we're gonna do, clean it up. Not dig it up. It's all clear. All right, all right Gwen. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. All right, we'll make it quick. You don't want to get on my bad side, Gwen. The last Gwen that got on my nerves got parried to death. Okay, gotta make sure no one sees Gwen, ma'am. Would you like to leave? Why'd you take the long way around? Oh, I see someone coming this way. Ma'am, graveyard is closed. No visiting hours today. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time to. The place was in need of some care and attention. Yep. That's definitely what it's getting. Nothing nefarious going on here. Just a man in a pirate hat. Oh man, this hat's ridiculous. I love it though. 
I need more hats. I need new hats. I need an even more ridiculous hat. Oh, now these two are coming my way. I don't know if I'll be able to charm these hey, two. Look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry nope. on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. I don't yes, think so. Uh, oh, damn choir boy. A choir boy in a pirate hat? Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick. <laughs> you must strike first. <laughs> No, I lost my pirate hat. You don't attack a man in a pirate hat. Give me my hat. Uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. <laughs> uh, Gwen, are you done digging up the lady? Oh, he moves fast. Good job, Gwen. Payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? But she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. I'll take it. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Yeah, go wash up. That, also, that's more than, than clear what I what I owe you. I'm not leaving until you do. Yeah. Aren't you gonna cover her back up? Oh, sorry about that, Mrs. Claypole. I need to go and see this fence over here. Because couldn't I make a trinket out of the lion's paw? I was thinking about that. Uh, it's back here, isn't it? Hammer, can you come here while I do this? Well, long time no see, stranger. <laughs> Got anything How good you for been? by any chance? Okay, permanently increases. Ooh, stamina. Can't get this anywhere else. What do we need? We need a moose, a fox, an elk, a coyote, a cougar, and a beaver. All right. Oh, there's a panther. Oh, man. Ram, wolf, bison, alligator. Legendary alligator tooth. I want no parts of a legendary you gator. Value? Don't care for the origin. An old brass compass. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. I did need some dynamite. You better know how to use that. I'll be fine. I trust nobody's missing this. All right, then. Better be good. Uh, you're not getting my cards. Oh, yeah, I do have a gold tooth. I'm gonna keep it. It's from my collection. No questions asked. Ain't this special, huh? You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Not bad, this. Sure, I'll take it. Done deal. All right, fine. Give it here. Okay, we sold a couple of things. Thank you. Now we have plenty of money. We can go upgrade the camp a little bit. After we go talk to Dutch see exactly what he needed from us. Over here smooching with the sheriff. 
Wasn't Hosea supposed to be getting information on the Braithwaites too? Wait a minute, Dutch. Stranger. I'm a little bit in shock, but I don't know what else they expected to happen. Oh, I wanted to buy a paper. Oh, wait, the paper boy probably ran. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, let's see if the sheriff of heard course, that or not. Of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy With my hunter. pirate hat. Boy is a killer. Boy is a Arthur, pirate. you've met but not been introduced to... Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. Oh, you he's did? drunk. Well, he didn't no hear it. There's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that. But still... Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, it's a good old moonshine. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Where are you going? I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies, you have finally lost your mind. Oh, we are getting deputized. Billies and slavers. Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste oh. time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. We're going after moonshine? Let's go. I never had a problem with moonshiners. Why are we bothering people's Archibald? business? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most Thank towns you. just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There I'm is. sure. Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. All right, Deputy hey, Fife, I understand. Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Like of course. He does have Barney be? energy. You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, did Dutch get stuck somewhere? Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told ah. you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're mm. dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention yeah, that's the, the problem fact here. that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. 
But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But mm. it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Yeah, you know, I can see really Dutch's marker on the map. More suitable attire. If I only knew I was gonna be deputized today. Is this about my hat? How dare you? Yes. I thought so too. Leave my hat alone. I, I like go it. That far. <laughs> Is Bill having a conversation with himself because Dutch is gone? <laughs> Oh, his marker's- is his marker gone off the map? <laughs> oh no. Should I restart this mission because of dialogue purposes? Can I do that? Where- where's Dutch? For the sake of not missing any dialogue, I might want to see if I can't- Uh, is it progress or story that I- Where's the load game? I don't think it's this one. Okay, we're gonna see if there's not a checkpoint. Okay. We had to restart that because, uh... Now what's going on? Hey, out of the way! I'm on a tight schedule. Take with my body and my mind! Oh. Hello? Can you give me some money? Sure. Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. If I was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, yeah ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they... You somehow got rich about 50 years ago. They moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> I reckon they Interesting. Was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's uh, so. Yeah, sure. Okay, got a little bit more information from this nice man. Wish we could tip him more for that info. But uh, we did have to restart it because there's no telling what I missed dialogue-wise because Dutch here. was not there. And Bill was just talking to himself. And dissing my hat. Take a paper, please. Okay, I'll read these later. Thanks. Have a great day. No, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping the damn hat on. I don't care what y'all have to say about it. It's my hat. I'll, I'll change course, it after this. This will be my course. last mission with oh, this hat. And here is my okay. dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. I love this hat. All right, Deputy Fife, I'm getting back Arthur, on the carriage. Ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself. Oh. Oh yeah, their horses yes. were like parked uh, think behind the sheriff's office last time. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadow County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do no, their dirty no, work no, these that's days, not... but Sheriff Gray I believes my... the law should keep the law. I didn't now, mean to make him I'm speed sure up. I, I was trying to make sure you, Hammer was following. There's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? <laughs> you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. I have no problems so, talking while he's repeating everything he's already said. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite. Should I bet myself I now that there the actually weights. isn't any gold sure between did. these families? Old cotton family had a or maybe... At one point until, no. Well, because if they're going to argue back and forth that they stole it from each other, they probably got lost a while ago, or Grays have it. 
quick as we destroy one, another one pops That would make up. sense of, you oh no, it wouldn't it make sense of what the man grace. just told us. If they had any grace to start with. Because he said the grace suddenly no got rich when they moved there. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to make. That's maintain. where the money's at Look, right there. I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Yeah, that money's you know, gonna be really in those horses. Have to find you some more suitable attire. If I'd only knew I was gonna be deputized today. Leave my hat alone. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. <laughs> Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Oh, I thought Bill had Whoa. been salting my hat when he said Hold the up. other thing. You see that wagon? Yeah, I see it. Okay, I guess I'm getting down too. What are we looking for, deputy? Oh, look at my badge. Look at Arthur's shiny badge. It glistens in the sunlight. Don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. I'm following. Keep your eyes open. Oh. Okay, I'm, I cannot use dead eye here. <laughs> No, oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. I'm already looking at it. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Mm. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Okay. The Moin Raiders, let's go. Oh, oh, nope. We don't want to get on hammer. We want to get on this. Oh, okay. He gets to get on first. I'll go to the other side. Just a move over, really? Let's go. There's nothing you more we can do here. Rain. I want to have a look at these papers. I sure. guess I don't have a choice. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Seven? Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Ooh. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Go right at the crossroads. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Braithwaites are in they're moonshine right in and they're with the Raiders. But okay, what's wrong with the Greys then? Because we're definitely getting a negative photo of the Braithwaites, which they deserve, terrible people. But I wanna know what's up with the Greys because nothing's no. ever as good as it seems. And we're probably going to learn more through Bo. They're probably broke. That's why they don't include Bo in the talks of money. They probably don't have any. But we will find out soon enough. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? 
Sure. Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Down for good would Let's be killing them, but okay. We'll do this Batman style and keep them around. That way they can be a pain in the butt later. Ooh, I think I've passed See? this before. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, we'll this. That's great, Ratatouille. Uh, we get to the point. Let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split you up. mean me or Bill? Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? I want... left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. That's the biggest issue here. We can't have anyone dodging taxes. We need them alive. Let's Is there any gators in these waters? The time of it. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there. Come on. Pick him up. And take to wagon. Oh, uh, okay, I see it on the map. And Bill got the other guy. Good job, Bill. A lot of moonshine. Say, why are we hurting small businesses? <laughs> Did you guys also pick up people, or are you just walking really slow? Okay, you've also got people. I guess I'll get out of your way. Gentlemen, I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. I can. Anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last oh, time I'll mention it, I swear. Point. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I can't. Oh, I was gonna say, can I not just do it from here? Years ago, they was the finest family around. I want to listen to this one. Acres right. or more, 300 slaves, and, well, decadence crept into their way of living. Decadence and debauchery. Kind of like in England, which is why they cut the king's head off. And at the same time, the Grey family came from Scotland recently, uh, maybe 120 years ago. Did and you mean France? the Braithwaite's. And over time, a few developed. Uh, with the Greys being uh, right and proper in pretty much everything, and the Braithwaite's being uncivilized and, and, and English in their manners, if you know what I mean. And so it has gone on like this for years. Please tell me you're almost done, oh. Arthur. Sure. Oh, I really can't Just light it from second. here. Oh, oh. I want to listen to story time. Uh, Arthur, please get on this bridge. Okay. Bill, I'd move if I were you. Oh, let me let me do it. Oh, did not mean to hold two of them. Oh, I am missing. That's my problem. It's really gonna make me do it from over here, okay. Plant dynamite in. 
replace the dynamite without lighting it. I could you can't just throw it, really? You got oh It did not look lit. It, it, it did not look lit. Um, I didn't know that I'd lit it. I don't understand why you just can't throw it in that general direction. That is the last time I mentioned it, I swear. Okay. Apparently Arthur can't handle explosives either, Bill. I apologize. Okay. Round two. I'm just gonna throw it. I don't care. Now you want to work. Oh, we, we got people. Hey, that belongs to the Lamorne Raiders, you sons of bitches. So, sounds Shit. like a personal problem. We got men over here. Bill, don't get in my way. Got it. Head right here. Okay, Bill, just blow things up. I like your style. Get my rifle either. That was a close one. If you're lucky, you get a grave piece. Look out, we got more coming up. Put the graves, push it up. Oh, my hat. No, where'd it go? Give me this back. Bill, you got this. You're going ahead. Wait, no, give me this. Oh, is it shotgun? Oh, that's not what really, I don't want it, but okay. You guys made me shoot a horse. I hate you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, horsey. Shotgun. We got it. Oh. I'm keeping this. I think I dropped him. I don't see any more. Do you? No. no. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine uh, by me. Let me do a look around, Bill. Where am I exactly? Okay, I have not been over here before, I don't think. Bill, you go on ahead. I will catch up with you in a moment. Let's go before any more show up. You're free to leave if you want to. I'm not holding you hostage. That's a no. Um, this is something. Oh, there's a card here. It's mine now. See, Bill, you were going to make me leave behind my cards. This one had a photo of birds on it. I would have been so upset with you. What's over here? All right, Bill. Bill has abandoned me. No love for Arthur and his looting. Well done. <laughs> well, 
Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. Ah. Uh. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are How all How kind Americans. of you. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of Why don't you just put them in the... We have okay. a right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Sounds good, boss. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Now hey, that. You know what? Why don't I race you back? Ooh, my last race did not end well, but you know what? You're okay. on. You're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. All right, old man. Half of her losers. You never were much of a rider. Listen I think I'm ahead of you. We got to be Dutch. We can't let the old man win. This is a matter of pride. Pirate hat cannot lose. I think we got this. We just have to keep a good pace in front of him. Anytime you want to stop for a breather, you let me know. I know his horse is technically faster than mine, so it's just about staying on track and hitting those turns right. That would have been a good time to use that drifting ability I don't use. Oh yeah, I think we can manage this one. But now we have a full case of moonshine. That'll be fun to have around camp. It's a lot of moonshine too. those things are called, those little push things. But Dutch is right, we can play both sides. I don't think there's gonna be gold though. I think that might have ended up getting lost between the families at some point and it might be like an urban legend. I wanna know what's wrong with the greys because we're constantly hearing how bad the Braithwaite's are, but we don't know much about how bad the greys are. Oh, Dutch, you have lost this one. You're a loser. All right, that's one race in the books completed. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never <laughs> knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... Oh. I was gonna say you're like a son to me. He better be. You raised him. You're more than that. Arthur even looked a little bit proud after that. Okay, we are back in camp. 
We're definitely gonna rest up a bit, give Arthur some time to chat with everybody. And then when we actually get ready to start a new set there of missions. Is. Why don't you take the weight off, English? We will go and talk to Leave Molly. Some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you too, English. Let's see if anyone's just sitting around that might have something they want to chat Bennett. about. What, you a lawman now or something? I am. Look at my badge. You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Arthur. Look at my badge and my hat. Hi, Dutch. I really hope this new garb of yours isn't a permanent fixture. No one likes my hat but me. Another day and we're still alive. Of course we are. Well, anyway, best not tempt fate. All right. I don't want to take it off. I like this hat. Mr. Morgan. Karen. Mr. Morgan. Uh, yeah, noticed Grimshaw. You've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. What? Okay, first off, I paid last episode. Which, game time was a couple of days ago then. And also, when I put money in, it's a lot of money. <laughs> okay, you know what? Oh yeah, I have to give Strauss's debts. I forgot about this. Okay. This, and then let's use our money. Oh wait, we could give some stuff. Can we? What do we have? Alright. Let's use our money to buy some stuff. Oh, we can buy a boat now? I thought we had a boat. I thought we stole a boat. You know what? We'll buy for future notice. Because if it's there, it's there for a reason. Oh, that's a much smaller boat than the one that we stole, too. Okay. We got a boat now. Sadie, how are you doing? Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. It was really fun. <laughs> I guess. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. I love Sadie. You all right? Yeah, I like this spot. It's a shame we never robbed that bank in Valentine, though. Yeah, yeah that's true. I forgot yes, about that again. Is. Tilly. So that's what you're wearing now? Okay. <laughs> Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Yes. See you later. <laughs> I mean, at least she admitted to it. No one likes my hat but me. Makes me want to wear it more. Abigail, you like my hat, don't there you? There she is. Hi, Arthur. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. Okay. Fine. No one appreciates Arthur. Who's got their feet up on the table? You wait. Arthur. What the hell? Mr. Williams. You were snoring, that's all. I'm too tired for this. Arthur? <laughs> You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could oh. knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. I got plenty burdock of that. Root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, we have you. that. Sir. <clears throat> oh, can we give it to him? There we go. Here's some of that burdock root you wanted. Oh, you actually... 
Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right. Okay. No problem, Kieran. Called in on a debtor. Well done. In the box. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Mr. Morgan. Who else is around? All Pearson! Right. Oh, I don't see Pearson. Hammer! Oh, that's not hammered. All right. You seen your reflection lately? Going out hunting again soon? Maybe. Well, you let me know. I might join you. Thanks, Arthur. They're gonna bully me into taking this hat off. That's what they think. I'll let you know when I find the recipe for gold. Oh, very pretty. You just be ready for work. Ugh. That's what they think. They can bully me into taking my pirate hat off. Captain Morgan will live on until next episode. Where's John? I bet he won't say anything about my hat and beat him up if he tries. Mr. Morgan. You hey. like my hat, don't you? Hey, come back here. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. You take care now. Let me know if you find candy. No! I ain't bringing you nothing. You haven't said anything about my hat. Molly! I thought I saw you. I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. <laughs> is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say That's so. great, Dutch. Charles. Charles. Charles, pay attention to me. Charles. Charles. Oh, sorry, partner. Easy. <laughs> Charles doesn't even want to talk to us. He's so ashamed of our hat. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny. Oh, wait, there's another fishing thing. Wait, what? <gasps> we can go fishing with Javier! You know what? I bet Javier will appreciate so my hat. you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes. He's got some plan cooking. Good. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Morgan. Okay. Rather than starting a new mission, we are going to cut it off here. When we come back, we'll go fishing with Javier, come back and see what Molly needs from us. And then uh, if they don't give us any other missions that are around the camp, I do need to start heading back towards the western side of the map and actually do a couple of things over there. We need to go see Micah. We need to go see the wildlife photographer and we need to go collect that other debt. So we do have a couple things to do over there, but I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you're joining me again and I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye.